Yep, back out this time. I'm in the drink and the water. I don't know how deep it is. It's a bit chilly, but we've got something new this time. This is no wild camping. So we'll come out the water and we'll have a look at what we're doing. Right, so I've got sent this of Outdoor Masters Chasing Blue. It's a uh, big old thing, big unit. This comes as a backpack. You can use it as a backpack. It's on wheels as well. Got it scruffy like laid it down in the mud. So, what's in the bag? Let's have a look what's in the bag. So you get the hand pump. Right. You get a paddle. Three pieces. Telescopic. You can adjust that. Here's the, here's the sun coming out, man. Perfect weather. That's there for the pump. And you get a leash for your leg. That's so you don't lose the board leg. You can tie that on the board and that comes around your ankle. It's a spare one. Wrist leash if you want to put anything on your wrist. The fin for the bottom if you want to pretend you're a shark. <laughs> and you get a repair kit. Loads of stuff like in the bag. The bag's like coiled line. Uh. Stops it getting uh, mouldy. I think that's what that does. The GoPro mounts to the front of it. And a waterproof phone case. Could prove handy. Okay, so let's unleash the beast. View of the board. So you've got grab handles. This is what you, this is where you inflate it. You've got bungees for put your dry bags. More grab handles to carry it. That's your carry handle there. There's loads of little loops in that. Bungees on the back. Not bad. Feels really good, like. The quality there, it's really thick rubber. It's got two stabilizing fins on the back. The two stabilizers. And then you put the big one in there. Not until it's up though. Right, so I'm gonna pump it up. And then we're gonna, well, this might be a two part video. Really? Yeah. Not registered yet, no? Yeah. Meanwhile, there's a lovely view of Lowe's water. 
Like David Brent, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get one of them. <laughs> right, so after that, not too bad. That took about six minutes to get it up. The negative point is that it wasn't registering on there. It's meant to be between 12 and 15 psi, but it didn't come up. So we don't know what it is, but it feels hard enough. Yeah, that's it, I'm on it, I'm away. Right, that's the end of the video. Right, just got to set the paddle up and uh, be brave, really. So, that's the fin on. Got the fin on. This is the middle bit. That's the, that's the handle, so you put this on. Put a little click in there. Right. And then it's got like a, one of them. So you have it, they tell you to have it the height there, you've got to have it up here, your arm's reaching up. Reaching up for it, like that. About that height, yeah. So you're just reaching up. So it's not in peace though, it looks tightening. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. That's it, I'm sorry I haven't fixed the height. No, now is the moment of truth. You need to put your ankle leash on, Lee. Or your board's going to get lost. <laughs> but can it stop laughing? <laughs> try standing on that one. No, try sitting on it, Arnie, just see if it bends in the middle. Gotta keep it off the fin off the low water. Ah. I don't think you've got enough pressure on there, like. It's actually really stable. Do you want your paddle? <laughs> Would you like your paddle? <laughs> the dog's not happy. <laughs> There's no health and safety. <laughs> 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 he's, he's warning you not to go in. He is. Nah, it's something tough. So Andy went out as you can see in the video and then uh, come back in because we, we, we as professional surfboarders Right, here he goes for the for the um, the second voyage. He's putting his life safe life jacket on. He's got a lifesaver. Well that's got a whistle so you can play tunes on you at the same time. <laughs> Is that not going underneath? I'm sure you had a, a stop's meant to go underneath you. Like your um no buckle on it or Too small for you. That's the safe man, safe. He says I don't believe you.
up, he's standing up. Oh, hey. It's not as big as I was expecting me. <laughs> Shut up. Wait, that's enough. That's enough. So there you go, I stood up first time, oh bet I was shaky, so tell you when you stand up, use the oar as a balance and look at the horizon, don't look at your feet, which I looked at my feet and it was wobbling, I looked at the horizon and it steadied off, so that's the top tip and from the, the people who make them, so there you go, chasing blue, I'll put the description in the link, no, other way around, strike that, reverse it, link in the description and I'm sure there's a discount code and I'll tell you what it is it's worth every penny mint I'm really enjoying it I'm going back out just remember when you bring it in keep the fin off the bottom lift it by the back and drop put it down gently right so <clears throat> after all that excitement we've got it back home I've took it out of the bag. It was wet because it was raining, you know. When I finished, so not much point drying it off in the rain. So what I've got is microfiber towel. Just give it a good wipe. It's pretty dry. It's been out in the sun for 10, 15 minutes. Turn it over. This is the wet bit.
do is roll it as you roll it I mean I didn't do this because obviously it was really raining I rolled it up and it dried off get everything off it just dry as you go it does work quite well Compact. It's gone away. You just put it back in the bag. Put it in the bag with everything. I'm gonna dry the bag out and get the mud off it. That's pretty much it. So I'll be using it again. Weekend coming. And we'll see how it goes then. <laughs> 